Well, hey there, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I have a problem in this summer heat. Got more pestilence, I'll show you how to use BT to control caterpillars. Well, over here in my grapevines, I have what's called grapevine skeletonizer caterpillars. These are the larvae of the grapevine moth. I think that's what it's called. Um, they're a black moth and they look like maybe a wasp almost. They're black and they have a little orange or red thorax. And they lay their eggs all up and down on grapevines. And underneath, you get these caterpillars. I don't know if you can see those little guys. But there they are. These do this to your grapevines. And they leave behind the skeleton of the leaf, just the veins. They eat all the flesh out of the inside. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to kill these guys. You got to get on these guys really quick because they will decimate your grapevines in a day or two. And I've discovered these last year. They almost killed my entire grapevine, my micro vineyard. But I got them in time to ripen fruit. We are a little bit earlier this year. Look at those guys. We'll smush those. They're just kind of everywhere. Some are small, some are big. Like that's about as big as they get right there. But you can see them moving around there looking for stuff to eat. Yeah, these are a nasty, nasty pestilence. Let's go ahead and dispatch these guys. Good night. So what we're going to do is we're going to use BT. BT is a bacterial-based insecticide that is organic and operates to kill soft-bodied chewing insects like caterpillars. So I'll show you how I'm going to treat these. I'm going to use this. It's called Thuricide BT. Caterpillar control specifically. And it controls uh, soft-bodied insects, worms, caterpillars, um, and it's really good stuff. It doesn't stay functioning for a long time. It's a bacteria. And what happens is these caterpillars will eat the, the leaves with this bacteria on it, and it will affect their digestive system and kill them pretty quickly. In fact, last year, um, I had them uh, sprayed, and they were dead within 24 hours, some of them with even, within even four hours. So... I'm going to take a gallon in my sprayer here, and you put a teaspoon of this, not much, a teaspoon per gallon. I'm just going to eyeball it. Since I cook a lot, I kind of know what a teaspoon is. So I've got a gallon of water here, about a teaspoon, maybe a tablespoon, and that's that. I've turned the nozzle of my sprayer to face up, and I've put it on a fairly fine mist so that I can spray from the bottom up because those caterpillars are on the bottom of the leaves. So we want to spray upwards and coat the entire thing. Get as much of this stuff on there as you can. We'll just go along here and spray this BT wherever we see the damage. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray the entire vineyard. I'll shove the nozzle into the thick parts to make sure we're under the leaves, coating everything. Up in here we've got our heaviest infestation, so we want to make sure we get a good coating here. This uh, BT is safe for food crops, just if you're going to spread on anything that you're going to eat. You want to give it a few days before you harvest, and also you'll want to wash it really good. That should go without saying. This area right in here that is so heavily infested, trying to get all these leaves. What we'll find is that these caterpillars will begin to die back pretty quickly. They're constantly eating, constantly munching. So by giving them this diet of BT, we're going to knock them back significantly, pretty quickly. Well, that's how it's done. It's not rocket science, but it is hot, like a, ooh, it's hot out here. And that heat, when it compromises plants and causes them to be stressed out, makes them a little more susceptible to pests. I think these grapevines need water. We're getting rain this weekend. We've had a drought going on, so these were prime candidates for pests. A little BT, though, ought to take care of it. All right, my friends, it is the next day. We're going to go check on our progress and see if we've killed any caterpillars. Um, here's a clue. I made a mistake. Let's go check it out. Alright, as you can see, 
We're in the same general vicinity that we were at yesterday. Let's look for some of these caterpillars. There we have it. They're still alive. Hmm. There's one right there. Not dead. There's some more under there. Not dead. There's another one. Not dead. There's another one. Looking very much alive. There's a bunch of them right there. Yeah, so here's, here's the problem we had. The BT that I sprayed yesterday, I realized when I came out to look at my progress in the morning and didn't find any dead caterpillars, I realized I had made a mistake. And the mistake has to do with storage. Let's talk about that. Okay, so I did a little research and found that BT does not have a long shelf life. My BT had been stored in my garage for over a year. The temperatures in that garage get well over 100, deg 100 degrees in the summer. And it's hot out there. So, what I think happened was my BT was dead. There was no living microorganisms in there. The bacteria were dead. Um, all the contents of that bottle and what I sprayed on my grapevines back there had no effect because there was no living BT in there. Um, after a little research, I found that you should you should use as little uh, you should buy as little BT as you can uh, if you've got a small application like this because it's going to go bad uh, fairly quickly, and that you should store it indoors in a cool, dry space. Uh, Let's see where is the BT. Here we go. And I got myself some more BT. This is the same active ingredient. It's just in a. It's got a sprayer on here. You can use it uh, either as a, like I did, as a concentrate and mix it up in your sprayer, or you can spray it from a with a hose attachment. I'm not going to do that because, well, I'm just going to mix it up in my sprayer and spray it the way I did yesterday. But the active ingredient is just the same, Bacillus thuringiensis. This is a bacteria that causes our caterpillars over there to stop eating and die. And it's the same concentration in here as before. We've got, uh, we've got a pretty good amount of viable spores, at least 6 million viable spores per milligram is what is said here. So I'm going to mix up another batch, I'm going to spray and that will kill my caterpillars. Same as before, except I'm going to add a little bit more of the solution. This says in one gallon you put four teaspoons. So, All right, turn that off. We'll clean this up before we store it. There we go. Let's get this screwed down tightly. And go kill some caterpillars. Okay, I've totally resprayed. I used almost that entire gallon on my grapevines back there. There should be no chance of those caterpillars surviving. We'll come back and look tomorrow. I'll post some pictures in my community tab. Uh, but in the interest of getting this video out when I said I'd get it out, uh, or at least close to that time, I'm going to go ahead and upload. And, well, there you go. That's how you get rid of caterpillars using biological warfare. Bacteria doing the Lord's work. Awesome. That's how you control these things, but you got to make sure, like I said, that you have fresh solution. So that's how I'm handling this infestation. This is how I handled it last year. It knocks them back really quick if you have a good fresh supply of BT. So there we go. Thanks for joining me today on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. It's summer right now. We're not doing a whole lot in the garden. We're going to do some summer crops, but it'll really pick up in the fall where, well, that's my favorite season. And we're going to grow some fall crops and grow a fall and winter garden. That'll be really exciting. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll talk to you next time. Happy gardening to you. Bye-bye.